Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Perceive 2021. Please give a warm welcome to our own Isaac Chung, a machine learning engineer for Clarify, who will be speaking about automating data labeling for deep learning. Welcome to our stage. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's session. My name is Isaac, and I am a machine learning engineer here at Clarify. And I want to share with you today how we can automate data labeling for deep learning using Clarify's platform and product offering. We're first going to motivate the needs for automation, then walk through how we can leverage Clarify's AI platform to accelerate labeling in an automated fashion. Then we'll explore how AI can speed up labeling with human in the loop as well. First of all, let's uh, take a look at uh, the needs for automation. Um, I believe it comes when it comes to data labeling, uh, it's rather clear. Deep learning usually involves a lot of data. And we want not just a lot of data, but also a lot of good quality data. These data can take the form of images and videos and can be from various sources. And for the data to be useful for all purposes, labels are required. We want to know what's in the data. Now in a traditional ML project, after the data is collected, cleaned, it's likely labeled by humans. This would be done repeatedly until it's deemed enough. Then the model iteration begins. For example, the hyperparameters are tuned, different loss functions are being investigated. This process takes up a lot of time and resources, which are limited to begin with. More specifically, huge volumes of human labeling leads to added layers of management challenges and errors. So what can we do when we only have little data? For example, with only a handful of labeled examples per class. What we can do is deploy first. Now, if you have seen a previous talk by our VP of research, Michael Gormish, titled Optimize Data Efficiency by 10X, the core concept is largely the same. We can deploy first by training a model with few shot learning or transfer learning, then collect data from the deployed model. The advantage of this data efficient method compared to the traditional method is that we can find out how the model would be used in the real setting. We would then continuously label the incoming data to correct the model. These can all be done on Clarify's AI platform. And we'll go over that up next. The name of the game here though is getting quality labels efficiently. This will be the overarching goal um, for the presentation. Let's take a look at example of this deploy first strategy. Uh, we're, here we are trying to detect buses to help governments and companies develop better transportation systems. Uh, an example would be uh, to allow bus prioritization at traffic signals. We have seen that implementation in London in 2007 and more in-depth studies in literature up till 2017. And this can enable other entities to develop it at potentially a fraction of the cost. The deploy first method can be summarized by, by this diagram here. And we will walk through this in parts. Uh, we can start the loop uh, all the way on the left uh, from the input data, where we uh, first move along the top arrow to label data. Uh, at the initial iteration, there may be only a handful of inputs per, per concept, uh, and we can label the data quickly with Scribe's intuitive UI. And then we can leverage Clarify's model training capabilities to very quickly train a few shot learned model over our general embeddings. This kicks off the automated training loop and begins to, to build momentum by deploying the model first. Uh, let's see what it looks like in our platform up to this stage of the process. The tool I'm showing right now is the portal, the UI for our platform. We can see the inputs tiled through the Explorer, which can be accessed by clicking the eye icon on the left panel. We can also see details of one of the images in the single input view, where the annotations, metadata, and more information uh, and the operations with the inputs are shown. Once we have the data in an app and the platform, training is really easy. We can use a template called context-based classifier here. 
which is ready to transfer learn over embeddings of our general model. Uh, it's one of Clarify's most popular pre-trained models and is great, a great all-purpose solution for most visual recognition needs. After setting up the configurations, training is extremely fast. We can see from the bottom right notification that training is done in a matter of seconds. Well, now we have a deploy model. We can then collect real data from the deploy model and through workflows uh, that is created from uh, the platform to automatically annotate high confidence results identified by the model. Uh, and these could then be added to the pool of data for training. Uh, this would complete the automated training loop on the right. Um, collectors is a very convenient tool uh, that seamlessly integrates data ingestion into the model training framework on the Clarifier platform. And here's a quick example of how to create one, but be sure to refer to the docs for more details. In the data mode of portal, the collector section is under the data ingestion. After hitting add collector, uh, we would fill in the appropriate details, including a random sample workflow. Here we have chosen uh, to sample everything from the deploy model uh, then we hit create and the collector is now active. Uh, for the automated annotation process, uh, we would use uh, workflows to complete the active learning loop. Clarify provides convenient operators uh, such as image croppers and thresholders uh, to be used in conjunction with our pre-trained models. Let's see them in action with our example here. Uh, let's take a look at one of the inputs that was collected from the deploy model, from the collectors. Um, this shows a bus at a traffic junction on Kane Road in Hong Kong, which is a popular commuter route for buses up and down the mid-levels. Now for every input collected, we want to extract the bounding box of the detective vehicle, uh, shown in the orange box uh, on the left, uh, and end up with a bus or not bus label for the cropped image so that we can use these annotations for training. Here's what the workflow looks like on our platform. What you'll see here is a multimodal workflow that allows us to automate the entire automation process from start to finish. Uh, this can be made through the visual workflow builder uh, on the portal, which is covered in a separate talk, but uh, walking from top to bottom, First, we would use the pre-built person vehicle detector that is available on our platform to detect vehicles. Then we want to retain only the confident vehicle predictions, and this can be done using a thresholder. For example, we are only retaining any vehicle detections above 0.7 confidence score. Uh, this detection here uh, shows a 0.95 confidence score so it will be retained for further manipulation down the workflow. Once we have cropped out the detected regions, we can calculate the embeddings of the cropped image and pass them through the bus classifier we had, uh, we had just trained. For the confident predictions of bus and also uh, of not bus, that's why we have two branches at the bottom, we would like to automatically write those annotations uh, and add them to the pool of training data. Be sure to refer to the documentation for details on implementation. So we have automated the labeling for confident predictions from the model. Are we done? Definitely not. Here's what's next. What would happen to the lower confident level uh, labels that are identified by the model is stepping into a human in the loop process. Uh, we will next follow the semi-supervised loop uh, here also um, marked out in orange which adds human labeling. This is supported by Scribe, our AI-powered uh, platform labeling tool, uh, Clarify. All that's required is a small addition to the workflow, which is shown in the third branch on, on the bottom right. The main effect here is to send the less confident machine labels to Scribe for humans to review and annotate them. We can also speed up the labeling uh, or a pipeline with AI Assist. By using the model we had just built, we can define a custom workflow that is similar to the previously shown one. Uh, 
um, uh, AI assist would then run the workflow uh, within the labeler task and suggest annotations based on the predictive confidence. And we can control the threshold and see this in action uh, in shortly. Here, the workflow predictions along with the confidence scores are shown in the UI. We, we can adjust the threshold for the bus and not bus concept on the top right here, there, where the labels uh, are auto-confirmed. We can also make adjustments to add more annotations or remove the suggested ones. Once again, we see how we can get moving quicker by using model suggested annotations to get the most out of the pi labeling pipeline. Before you go, if you wanna take anything away from this presentation, the bottom line is that using a platform built for deep learning can help you get the most of your data efficiently. And ultimately, that's what increases your productivity. Everything we've gone through is seamlessly integrated on the platform not only are you able to label data using AI and Scribe, but also use AI to auto annotate inputs when you see them and as you receive them through the pipeline. Uh, in one single center, you're able to collect, label, train, and deploy. And this is something that is extremely powerful. And with this, I want to thank you for taking the time to participate in this session and this year's Perceived Conference. Thank you so much, Isaac. It was a pleasure. A big round of applause from our virtual audience. We will see you at our next session.